Now take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. We may not get a bite all day, but don't you rush away. <laughs> hey, Mr. Fisherman, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> I, I didn't wrap it. I didn't wrap it. Mary, well, you know, Mary's sick. She said, Why didn't you wrap this? And I said, Get my wrapper's sick. <laughs> so, Appreciate that. All the way up there. My Normandy jigs. Normandy jigs. What do you? I start with just keep them for you because I'm, you know. Young lady, how you doing? I'm good, Mr. Conway. How are you? Well, you guys come. Oh, that. We're going to talk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Victor, where'd you get that picture? He's got, he's got, he's got plans. Sixtieth birthday, and they put candles on that wouldn't go out. Oh, I, I'm sure that's it, what happened. It smoked up Diane's office, and we thought the fire alarm was going off. <laughs> so it kind of backfired on them. They never did that anymore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Mr. Coleman, we appreciate all, all you've done and and working with CTS and here at Williams County, and uh, hope you enjoy your retirement. And goodbye. Vicki Jones did this, so it's left handed. Hey, hey. I don't know if I can do this or not. I might have known that picture would end up on the board. Which one? The one with the flames and the fire and the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and the fire department. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I don't know if I can say goodbye to Mr. David. I've already had my moment and I've brought my box of tissues down here with me for just in case, but certainly have enjoyed David since day one. I'm going to miss him from, from one end of the whole working together spectrum to the other, but we love you, David, and wish you and Miss Paulette uh, health, safety, and good travels, and best wishes for good fish. And in the back, in the back, the half is mine. So I did have a hand. Congratulations, old man. I like it. I like your your boot deer here. That is that's cool. I like it. I like that. Good. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, man. You looking good. You ready to go? He did. That's the best suit you got for the night, man. You looking good. I miss you so much, David. The good news is you just live around the corner. Best wishes. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. That's kind of like... Uh, <laughs>
Think about retirement, you never get a day off. Do you? That's right. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. <laughs> this is my pictures of my staff over here over the years. This is they did my 60th birthday. They put those candles that wouldn't go out. Oh yeah. It was at Diane's office and it smoked up and thought the alarm was going to go off. <laughs> No, I don't know how they do it. 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 I don't know how they do 16 years, seven months, and two days ago, my first day on the job, and I had an office next to David, and that, I remember going home that night telling my wife two things that stuck in my memory. One, I had an old desk that the top drawer was nailed shut with a 16-penny nail, and I never wanted to find out what was in there. And then two, I met a guy today who's one of the nicest people I ever met. And uh, after 16 years, seven months, and two days, I'm sure that nail is still in that drawer and it's closed, and David's still one of the nicest people I ever met. We're going to miss it. Thank you. Thank you. Are we supposed to stand here together? That's right. There's the sun over there. There's Lee and her Very blessed. Very blessed. Congratulations to you. Yeah. Congratulations to you. I know you're looking forward to it. I am. Well, David's been such a great asset for Williamson County and uh, have the opportunity to work with him since I've been sheriff. I want to wish him the best for his retirement. He's well deserved and hope he has the best. You hate to stop something that uh, everyone's having a good time. When you drive up out in the parking lot, David, I first thought everybody was just buying car tags, but I believe, <laughs> I believe they're all here. I'm Rogers Anderson, the Williams County Mayor, and we want to do a few things here today to acknowledge David. But, and before we get him down here at the local level, these guys behind me, these are the state boys, and I think they've prepared a proclamation for him, and I'm not sure who's going to handle it. Glenn? Charles and Jeremy, they're here to do a proclamation on behalf of David. We are. And, and I'm Glenn Cassidy. This is on behalf of myself, Charles Sargent, 
Jack Johnson, and there is now a new member to the crew, Jeremy Durham. And uh, David, we it's just our way of saying thank you for your years of service. Uh, Charles and I were on the county commission when you were directing us, and it, the firm hand has been, uh, has been firm since then. And thank you for your service to our county. What we have is a resolution that's uh, uh, signed by us, the delegation, and the Speaker of the House, Beth Harwell, committing you for your years of service. Thank you, David. We appreciate you. Thank you. Let me, it's on. It's on. let me say one thing. I could always uh, call David sometimes. He, he'd ask, he says, you have the numbers yet? You have the numbers yet? And then I'd call down here and give him the numbers for the school or for a grant or something like that. And I didn't know, I'd have to ask, are you happy? Or are these higher or better or worse? Because there'd always be a pause and a mo moment of silence, like he's digesting these numbers. but. Uh, David, no matter what number I gave you, you were always able to make all these numbers work, and I do congratulate you. You're going to be a great loss to the county. Thank you. I was talking to Diane the other day, so uh, if there's any uh, credit or any blame, Charles was on the committee that hired me, so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard to say uh, bye to someone that you've enjoyed and admired and worked with for so many years not only as a county commissioner but as the mayor here in Williamson County many of you know that uh, David was hired by Bob Ring um, 17 years ago Bob heard David say this the other day Bob took the courage to hire him Clint Calicut came in and taught him the politics and then he's worked in this administration under, with my, me actually learning from him for the last 10 years. And David is uh, just an outstanding person. All of you know that. All of you have come to know and love David. Uh, behind the scenes, though, there's a woman in his life that probably steered him. I know he would acknowledge that. And he's got his children here and his family here and Paulette and what she has meant to him. I was trying to prepare a few words and uh, what I wanted to say today is that even when I was the county commission chairman and budget chairman before that, David and I started the first year together. And uh, it was kind of interesting. He came, if you didn't know this, he was the first mayor of Thompson Station, the very first mayor they ever had. And uh, we were fortunate to get that individual to be able to come up here and go to work after the retirement of Bill Giddens. Now, if that's not some history, you think about others that are staying around this room. Most of you have worked with David, not only in this role as his uh, job as the budget director. There's so many of you here that have helped to build him up and make him a better man help produce those budgets. We really haven't had a lot of rough years when David was here under those directions. And that's because he's, uh, well, he would tell you we have, but uh, <laughs> not a compared to uh, some of the other surrounding counties that are still fighting to get their budget on the books. David's incredibly honest. David's a good Christian man. David's a good family man. I'm going to turn the mic over to him in a minute. He doesn't want to talk. This mic doesn't do anything. It's just for the TV. <laughs> but before I do, I want to say thanks to those people that have prepared all of this today. This, uh, this fishing array that you have here, they started working on it yesterday and put it all together because that is uh, one of David's great loves is to be able to fish. I'm not sure that the bamboo poles didn't come off from county property, so you that are in the legal field, but he hasn't taken them home, so they're still on county property. And to Diane for orchestrating this and the ladies that are working here. And you know, Diane's worked with so many of us that uh, I often sometimes wonder if she didn't start here right after diapers, Rick. She did. She did. <laughs> As a special gift, every time someone retires from Williamson County with a certain amount of years, we try to get a gift for them. 
a little bit hard for David because it seems like he's got everything. But we looked over it long and hard. We found something that not only blends in with the theme today, this fishing theme, but we also found something that is uh, very special to David in his life. So David, if you'll come around here, I'm going to lift this up. And Paulette, you might want to see this. I'm not real sure that uh, you will appreciate us doing this, but <laughs> it's not going to embarrass you. Thomas Kincaid painting, and uh, we hope that David will enjoy this, find a special place in his home. I also want to say before I actually let David introduce his family, I know it's, he's struggling after the ball game last night, and he'll try to find some words. Uh, today I'm in fine order until after the ball game tonight. <laughs> but uh, David, uh, on behalf, there are cards and gifts and things here. Thank you for the job you've done here in Williamson County for 17 years. Thank you for everything you've meant to all of us, and uh, congratulations. Here, here. I hadn't planned on this part of it, and uh, Paulette told me to stick a Kleenex in my pocket for her, but it may be for me, I'm not sure. But it's been a great 17 years. Um, as I've said before, we're just like family here. Uh, we've laughed together, we've cried together, and we've been through some good times and some tough times, even besides what the mayor said. But uh, we've made it. And the last four or five years, when the economy was kind of tough, and We'd get ready for the budget season. I'd go into Rogers and I'd say, boy, this is going to be tough. I don't know if we're going to make it. It's really, he'd say, we're going to make it. It's going to be all right. We'll make it. And we did. And we made it each time. And uh, there's so many I'd love to name and thank here, but I'd miss somebody. So just thank all of you for coming. And all of you are part of our lives. Uh, as Rogers said, my wife, Paulette, my son, Mark, and his wife, Renee, they have two fine boys. Kaysen and Riley, and they're in Clovercroft Elementary today, Dr. Looney, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Leanne, and this is one of her children, Matthew, he's our youngest one that we have, and then we have Caitlin and Staley that are in uh, Bethesda School today, so uh, we miss them, we wish they could be here too. <laughs> and then Robert Brand is my son-in-law, and uh, I think he's working, but uh, we thank all for them being here, and uh, my brother Tom and his wife Marilyn are here. Uh, I appreciate them coming. Just a lot of wonderful friends, and I appreciate you so much. And uh, like I say, I didn't plan on making a speech, so let's just have some cake. And uh, thank you for coming. One one time, Bob Ring just walked in here. Come over here, Bob. You you hired and got this wonderful person here. And um, for many of you that may not remember Bob, uh, he was here for 16 years, and uh, he left in about 19. 90, 98. No, 98, somewhere along in there, and, That's right. and did a wonderful job. Bob? Well, when Bill Giddens retired, I thought, well, what in the world are we going to do for a budget director of Williamson County? But uh, I guess what a, what a marvelous hire David was. I mean, just what a, what a marvelous job he's done over the years, and we're all very proud of him. And uh, uh, Hate to see him retire, but uh, but I know how wonderful retirement can be, and I hope uh, hope you get in a lot of fishing and get to play with those toy soldiers like I do. So, <laughs> thank you. As most of you know, Mr. Ring served 16 years, and when he hired me, he said, "David, there's only one thing I can tell you for sure." In three years, I won't be here. So, <laughs> but uh, I, I owe him so much as a mentor, and uh, it took me a while to realize what he was doing. But anything involving finances, all he had me in every meeting of every kind, and he was not only teaching me, but he was preparing me for the next county executive. And that's what we all have to do: is prepare people to come in and take over work. In closing, I'll say that I have announced to the person we'll be taking his spot. You don't normally do that, but she's in the back. Nina Graham, she's been with us 21 years. Come on, come on up yeah, here, yeah. David said. Yeah. 
while she's walking up here, she has made David look good for all 17 years. And uh, you normally don't say this to a woman, but you've got big shoes to fill. So uh, I'm confident that Nina will carry on the tradition here that we've had for the last 25 uh, good long years, longer than that. And uh, David, if she doesn't do right, I'll blame you. If she does it right, I'm going to take 100% of the credit, <laughs> just like Bob did. Y'all enjoy the, the uh, festivities? Please make an effort to see David and his family. They're a wonderful family. Thank you for being here. Thank you all so much. And sign the book if you haven't up Thank front. You. Appreciate it. I have a to-do list. And it's about three or four pages long. Uh, but he's got one that's probably, well, the first three or four pages says gone fishing, and then after that he's got some chores he wants to take care of. So that'll be good. And we're going to take some more trips and enjoy being together and be with the grandchildren. Thank you. Thank you. Take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. We may not get a bite all day, but don't you rush away. What a great place to rest your bones. It might be fine for skipping stones. You feel fresh as a lemonade for sitting in the shade. Whether it's hot. Whether it's cool, oh, what a spot for whistling like a fool. 105.